That is gimmick infringement. Prove it. Prove that you are clapping. Welcome to... Welcome to another episode of Car Chronicles Reviews with the list of Stealthy Ninjas. Today you got one third of the ninjas along with his wife, Scooter Ray, Ladybug. And we came out of seeing Monkey Man. The Monkey Paw, which is Jordan Peele's company, produced, Dev Patel directed and starred in this movie. And simply put, this movie is about revenge. How far are you willing to go for revenge? And are you willing to give revenge for the ones you love? That's pretty much the overall story. There was other little story elements in here. But for the most part, that was the movie. Yep. I mean, simply put. And that and, is the shortest cross, car car reviews we've ever done. I mean, what, 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 not done. Oh. Uh, Try it. Overall, I thought the action was good. Yeah. I thought the pacing was good because there was a part where you thought things was going to kick off. And it was like, not yet. I guess it's kind of saying, hold off a little bit. But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta build some story. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make you want more. Otherwise, this would have been an hour-long movie. Uh, I like the setting of India. I like the setting of just how everything was, and you know, I I can enjoy uh, Dev Patel's character of he wasn't some secretly trained ex-military force or you know or anything like that some secret assassin a, he wasn't a super spy you know super he spy. wasn't some dude who just was like all's my life I has to fight type of maybe maybe that one yeah, maybe that maybe so, that one so it, and it came across in the fight scenes cause it wasn't no Fancy moves. It was, what did the guy say? You were fighting just to fight. Now you're going to fight for for a purpose. Basically, yeah. You was fighting just to fight. Now you're fighting for a purpose. Uh, if I had to give it a rating off of that, I'd give it a solid eight. I give it a good nine. Okay, I give it a solid eight. Once yes it enough. opened up and it was like the violence started to happen. The, I would say it was dark. Yes, it was a little dark. It was dark. It was very dark. Like, like the lighting, not the the story. The lighting was just dim. Yeah, and it was it, at times. Not not to say it wasn't hard to see, but it was just the fact that there was times where it was like there's a lot going on, and it was hard to follow because it was so dark. But once again, solid eight, solid action. Um, one thing I will say personally, and this could be me being an American. And not knowing, but the setting they were in, I didn't realize they spoke as much English. And maybe that could be the movie. Yeah. Maybe it could be the movie, but you know. They did speak. I mean, they did speak both. Yes. But it was a lot of uh, English, and it yes. was like, was I wonder, little, yeah. was that done for the movie's sake, or it's really true out there? Um, the other thing is, I want to know, because it, it did use a lot of cultural references mm -hmm. and cultural imagery mm -hmm. like do are there anyone if, offended by that i would hope not but yeah, you know, there's a lot of cultural I mean, we, images we live in a society where somebody gonna get offended by i know something. but there was just, there was just a lot of cultural I know, images but somebody's gonna get offended by i something. know but i mean it was the, but, the the temple i think that was my favorite that their whole that story whole no, just just just, just her but, story. I think that was but, that was a beautiful situation. I Obviously, feel it's worth watching. Yeah, oh, for sure. I'll watch it again. Oh, uh, whenever it comes, if it comes to a streaming service, I have. <laughs> I will watch it again. Let's just put it out that way. Yeah. If it comes to a streaming service, I have. I wouldn't mind watching it again. Um, if to explore more, I don't see a franchise out of this. I don't see a yeah, not not out of this. I don't see one of those, you know, a John Wick situation, which I know people were comparing this to that, which they actually did mention John Wick in the movie. But I don't see four of these. I don't even see another one of these. Unfortunately, no. But like, if um, if, if, if they if they do make a second one, it's purely gonna be sequel. It's purely gonna be like, hey. Y'all made so much, much money, money, so y'all gotta make another one. 
And it's going to be like, all right, y'all got it, big dog. And but, there are no after credit scenes. Yes. But yes, I give it a solid eight. She gives a solid nine. Yeah. I just wish it was like not so dim. And in, in, in the best parts wasn't so dim. I guess I guess they made it that way too. So how just dark and gritty and just. It was, it was hurting my eyes so I couldn't you know. see. But Monkey Man, Dev Patel, starred in it, directed it. Good job, by the way. Oh, for sure. Good job. For sure. Um, Shout out to the other did, ninjas. Did Cosmic get, boss. Oh. Do you have to get like the abs for the movie? I think, he, I think he was already like that. Or he was already like that? Because, mm -hmm. woo! Shout out to Cosmic Boss, Ronya yeah. Miss, the other two ninjas. Thank y'all for tuning in. Whether you loved it, hate it, don't forget to rate it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, probably thumbs up. Share it, comment it, subscribe after you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that way you can be privy to oh when videos. Oh my gosh, you're come. such a YouTuber. But uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, we're just trying to make the Ninja Village proud. Peace.